visionary rancher, tireless producer. In the competitive and exciting world of beef cattle farming, every gram counts, every day is an opportunity, and every decision can mean the difference between modest performance and profitability that drives your business to the next level. Today, we dive into the heart of beef production, fattening. But we won't talk about the obvious, what everyone already knows. We're going to unveil the secrets, those key strategies and crucial details that transform a good fattening program into an exceptional one, allowing you not only to optimize the process, but to truly gain more high quality meat from your cattle. Get ready to discover how science, meticulous observation, and strategic management can revolutionize your results, bringing your animals to their maximum genetic and productive potential. From initial selection to the last day in the feedlot, we'll guide you on a path of efficiency and knowledge that will directly translate into additional kilos on the scale and greater satisfaction in your work. Forget guesswork and embrace proven techniques that set the standard in modern cattle. Farming. This isn't just a video. It's an investment in your ranching future. Let's start unraveling the fundamental pillars and best-kept secrets for elite cattle fattening. Genetics. The invisible foundation of explosive fattening. The first secret, and perhaps the most fundamental, lies in genetic selection. Not all cattle are created equal for fattening. If your goal is to maximize weight gain and carcass quality, you must start with animals possessing superior genetic potential for these traits. What does this mean in practice? Selection of breeds and strategic crosses. Research and select breeds. Known for their feed conversion efficiency, early maturity, ability to reach slaughter weight in less time, and beef confirmation. British breeds like Angus and Hereford are renowned for their meat quality and marbling. Continental breeds like Charolais, Limousin, or Simmental offer impressive muscle development and carcass yield. In more challenging climates, crosses with Zebu breeds, Brahmin, Nelore or adapted synthetic breeds, Brangus, Brayford, Santa Gertrudis, can offer the necessary hardiness without sacrificing too much fattening potential. The secret is to find the genetic balance that best suits your production system, market, and environment. Use of proven sires. Invest in bulls or semen from bulls with outstanding expected progeny differences, EPDs, or estimated breeding values, EBVs for growth traits weaning weight, yearling weight, feed efficiency, and carcass quality, ribeye area, marbling, yield. A good sire is an investment that pays off handsomely in the quality and performance of its offspring. Smart. Purchasing of calves for fattening. If you buy calves for fattening, don't be swayed by price alone. Assess their confirmation, apparent. Health status, uniformity, and, if possible, know their origin and the genetic background of their parents. Calves with good bone and muscle development, healthy and vigorous, will respond much better to the fattening program. Precision Nutrition – The Fuel That Unleashes Potential – Once you have the right genetics, the next big secret is meticulously calculated nutrition. The saying, we are what we eat, applies fully to your fattening cattle. Fine energy and protein balance. Energy is the engine for growth, and protein is the building block for muscle. An imbalance, whether a deficit or an excess, which can be costly and inefficient, will limit performance. Adjust metabolizable energy, ME, and crude protein, CP, levels according to the fattening stage, starter, grower, finisher, the animal's live weight, and the expected weight gain. Feeding a recently weaned calf is not the same as feeding a steer nearing slaughter. Quality of forages and supplements. The feed base can be pasture, but in intensive or semi-intensive fattening, conserved forages, hay, silage, and concentrates play a crucial role Ensure forages are highly digestible and nutritious. Supplements, grains, agro-industrial byproducts, protein sources, 
should be selected not only for their cost but for their nutritional contribution and ability to complement the base diet. The secret lies in the synergy of the ingredients, minerals, and vitamins, the catalysts for growth. Often underestimated, microminerals, copper, zinc, selenium, manganese, cobalt, iodine, and macrominerals, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, sodium, chlorine, as well as vitamins, especially A, D, and E, are essential for metabolism, immune function, and optimal utilization of major nutrients. A deficiency, however small, can be a bottleneck. Supplement strategically based on your forage analysis and specific needs. Fresh and abundant water. The forgotten nutrient. It seems obvious, but a constant supply of clean, fresh water is vital. A dehydrated animal reduces its feed intake and, consequently, its weight gain. Ensure multiple, clean, and easily accessible water points. Feeder management and feeding frequency. Avoid excessive competition by ensuring enough feeder space per animal. Keep feeders clean to prevent feed refusal. In intensive systems, offering feed multiple times a day can stimulate consumption and improve efficiency. The secret is consistency and observation. Strategic health, shielding investment and efficiency. Sick or parasitized animal will not gain weight efficiently, no matter how perfect its genetics or diet. Health is a non-negotiable pillar rigorous vaccination and deworming programs. Prevention is better than cure, and in cattle farming, prevention is profit. Establish with your veterinarian a vaccination schedule adapted to prevalent diseases in your area, clostridial diseases, respiratory diseases, etc., and a strategic deworming program to control internal and external parasites, rotating active ingredients to prevent resistance. Control of external parasites. Flies, ticks, and other ectoparasites not only cause stress and irritation, reducing feed intake and rest, but can also transmit diseases. Implement effective control measures. Early detection and isolation. Train your staff to recognize the first signs of illness, apathy, loss of appetite, isolation from the group, etc. Early diagnosis and treatment can prevent major losses and the spread of diseases. Have an isolation area for sick animals. Biosecurity. Implement measures to prevent the introduction of diseases into your herd, such as quarantine for new animals, control of vehicle and personnel access, and cleaning and disinfection of facilities. Management and animal welfare. The environment that boosts results stress is the silent enemy of fattening. Stressed animals release cortisol, a hormone that can negatively affect weight gain and meat quality. Gentle handling and stress reduction. Avoid shouting, hitting, and abrupt movements when handling cattle. Use well-designed facilities, chutes, pens, that facilitate a calm flow of animals. Patient handling translates into more docile and productive animals living space, and proper density. Overcrowding creates competition for food and water, increases social stress, and can predispose animals to health problems. Ensure the minimum. Recommended space per animal in pens, as well as at feeders and waterers. Environmental comfort. Provide shade in hot climates to prevent heat stress. In cold climates, offer protection from wind and excessive rain. Dry, clean bedding in resting areas improves comfort and reduces foot problems. Smart grouping. Form homogeneous groups by weight, age, and sex to minimize competition and dominance behavior. Avoid constantly mixing groups. Monitoring and records. What isn't measured can't be improved. The last big secret is data-driven management. You can't optimize what you don't know in detail. Periodic weighing. Conduct regular weigh-ins, monthly or bi-monthly, to calculate average daily gain, 
ADG for individuals and the group. This will allow you to identify underperforming animals and adjust management or diets. Calculation of feed conversion ratio, FCR. Measure how much feed an animal or a group consumes to gain one kilo of weight. A low FCR indicates greater efficiency. This is a key indicator of the profitability of your fattening operation. Detailed records. Keep meticulous records of everything. Entry dates, initial and periodic weights, type and amount of feed supplied, health treatments, costs, etc. This information is pure gold for making informed decisions. Analysis of results at the end of the cycle. At slaughter, record the final weight, carcass yield, and if possible, carcass grading. Compare this data with your targets and those of previous cycles to identify areas for improvement. Conclusion. The synergy of secrets for resounding. Success optimizing, fattening, and gaining more meat from your cattle is not the result of a single magic bullet, but the disciplined and synergistic application of multiple secrets and best practices. From choosing superior genetics through high-precision nutrition, a robust health plan, management that prioritizes animal welfare, to constant monitoring of key indicators. Every link in this chain is vital. By implementing these strategies, you will not only see an increase in the kilos of meat produced, but also an improvement in the overall efficiency of your system, a reduction in unnecessary costs, and ultimately, greater profitability and sustainability for your cattle business. The knowledge is now in your hands. Dedication and attention to detail will make the difference. Take your cattle farming to the next level. If you found these secrets for optimizing your cattle fattening valuable and want to continue discovering more strategies, practical tips, and advances in the world of cattle farming, don't wait any longer. Subscribe to our channel, activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future installments, and share this video with other ranchers who are also striving for excellence. Leave your comments and questions below. We'd love to hear your opinion and help you on your path to ranching success. Join our community and let's transform the future of meat production together.